What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am making a video that is very important that's going to help you. I hope. I hope. I think I haven't said it's important in a while. But yes, it's very important. So today, I am talking about eight secrets that women don't want you to know. They don't. Because it's a little embarrassing, maybe. Because uh, they don't want you to understand them all the way. Because maybe you're going to be able to pass all those tests. So they don't want you to know. But today, I am fucking telling you what's up. Okay? Let's go. Number one. You know how I always tell you, like, those bitches be playing with all them shit tests and all that shit? You know, women actually want you to pass the test. They do want you to pass because they're trying to find a way to qualify you. I know it's not fair because bitch, who the fuck are you to try to qualify me? Like the fuck? But that's what they're doing. They want you to qualify to pass. Like, you know, she has like a little list. Okay, let me try this test. Again, it's not uh, conscious. I told you that before. They're not doing it on purpose. But it's just some type of questions that come. And she wants you to react and see how you're going to react. So she's like, okay. Not her, exactly, but the brain. Okay, let me ask this question. Ooh, we passed. Check. Ooh, it passed too. Oh my God. And then the more you pass, the more she gets excited, the more she's like, you know, you're, you're close to jumping, but not so close yet. Because as soon as you miss one, you're done. So yes, so women do want you to pass the shit test because they just, they, they want to like you. And I told you what to do with them fucking shit tests is you don't react or you joke or, but the only thing you don't do is become defensive, angry and all that shit. So just don't react. That's the easiest. Just be super cool, be laid back and be like, all right, all right, bitch. Don't say that, but thank you. Yes. Number two, as much as women say, I don't like a player. Women love players. They, they love it. They want you to have some game. And I'm not saying players in the way like, you're going to mistreat them, really, because they don't want to be mistreated. But they like the mystery about a bad boy. They like um, that they don't know what you're thinking. They don't know if you really like them. That's a thing. And women want to tell themselves, no, I want to know everything, you know. But no, that's why women are super attracted to bad boys. Women want to be charmed. They want to be, like, kept on edge, you know. Women, a lot of women like drama. So, you know, they want to feel like a roller coaster. Exactly. You know, they don't know. That was probably like me on a bike. But uh, yes, women want to feel on the edge and like, oh my God, you know, that makes, you know, the, the stomach you get when you're on a roller coaster. Women want to feel that. They love that fucking feeling. So yes, so they do want you to have some type of game. Number three, women decide to have sex with you way before the date. Mm -hmm. Maybe you think, you know, you took her on a date and you go home and then you're like, okay, I was able to take her home. Okay, now, okay, she needs to, do, you know, get a little like wet and uh, get some action. And then you start undressing her. If the bitch has a full uh, lingerie set, matchy, matching one, you know, that means she got you. She got you. She, she's letting you think you got her and yes, you were so good, you impressed her. So then she's like, okay to fuck or whatever. No. Women, I am telling you, women do not wear matchy underwear on a regular, every day. No. The matchy underwear is when she knows she's about to fuck. So if she has the matchy underwear on, I mean, not saying you didn't do a good job on the date. I, I'll give you that. You did a good job because she could have turned around and went home. But she already was thinking about fucking you that's why she was ready that's why she was shaved that's why she was just you know on point because she knew she was gonna get fucked mm -hmm. so so yeah women know way before the date if they're gonna let you fuck or not i shouldn't say let you but you know you know what i mean number four women don't want to admit how many sexual partners they've had some women have a lot a lot, a lot. I know you guys be talking about, well, how many dudes you dated? I'm like, fuck you. That's not your fucking business. And again, what is the problem? If I fuck 100, 200, 300, I know it's this fucking society acting like women cannot do what you do. And again, that's society. We live here. I guess we'll go with it. But it's because you guys and society fucking shame women 
for fucking too much, having too much fun. You know, that's not ladylike. Who decided what's ladylike or not? So of course, women are ashamed and don't want to share how many uh, dudes they fuck. And most likely, they're lying about the number because the number is too high in their mind and in society's mind, the number is too high. So, most likely, they're lying about how many dudes they fucked. So when she tells you, I fucked three, yeah, bitch, you fucked 300. I'm, I'm joking. I don't know who's, I don't know who got time to fuck 300 people, but uh, hey, I'm not judging. If you got time to go enjoy yourself, go do it. But yes, women are very self-conscious about you judging them on how many partners they had. Number five, I'm just going to say that one and leave it here. I'm not even going to explain, but women are not as clean as they want you to think. Mm -hmm. that's, all, that's all I got to say. Number six, women don't forgive. They don't. Like, wait for the next argument or wait for the next big argument. Watch. Whatever you did, whatever she was like, yeah, I'm forgiving. You cheating, she's never forgiving. Like, put that in your mind. You always hear that shit thrown at your face here and there. And again, I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's not right. I mean, in my mind, it's not really right because it's like if she decided to stay with you and forgive you, then she should shut the fuck up about you cheating and try to move on, you know, but hey, who am I to tell people what to do? But uh, yeah, women will never fully forgive you for cheating. Number seven, women check out your package. You know your package, your dick? Yes, we check that shit out. I'm sorry. You be walking and I be looking. The same way as you look at my ass and titties, I be looking at your dick too. Yeah, we're just more slick and you guys might not catch us, but we saw. I want to see if I can see a dick print. I want to see if it looks big or not. I want to see even, and it's so funny because a lot of women, me included, sometimes I include myself, you know, we look, even if we're not even interested, we just, we're just curious. We want to know. Does he has a big dick? Like, can I see some something? Like, we be looking. So, guys, I don't, I don't know if you care, but yeah, we we look. And number eight, which is probably one that you know already, but some women, when you take them on the date, they want to make such a big impression. The time that they take to fucking get ready is crazy. Some women even go over the limit, and they're even gonna go buy a new outfit that's gonna make them feel better and make them feel more confident because it's a new outfit, they feel fresh. So again, guys, when you go on dates, stop putting so much pressure on yourself because those women are already uh, either a little insecure and they're feeling pressure too. So stop pressuring yourself, you know? We all feel a little pressure and we all wanna kind of like impress. So uh, relax. Relax, you guys are kind of like on the same boat. All right, so that's all I have for today. Those were eight things that uh, women don't want you to know, but now you know. So now hopefully it's helping you with this dating life or it's helping you with maybe your woman, like your wife, your girlfriend. Hopefully that's what you guys are trying to do. And uh, on this note, uh, I hope you guys like this video. You can share it. You can subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at MellyLoveXO and at Melly Monaco. Okay, guys. See you soon. Tomorrow.